Okay, now welcome to the video. In this one we're going to show you how to convert your track actuator to a remote control track actuator. Now if you've already bought this, it will have already come with a power supply and a wired controller. Two buttons up and down and it's pretty simple. But if you don't like the wired controller or if you want an external micro switch then uh, Forgetting Automations has this new um, kit that you can buy. And it's pretty simple. All it is is a, uh, a, a controller with the built-in power supply. You get two RF remote controls and an external micro switch. So this is how we wire this up. It's very simple. The micro switch has two wires. One gets plugged into this thing. And there's only one plug here that you can fit it into so you can't go wrong. This is uh, just an antenna for the uh, radio frequency remote control. And then the other end plugs into the actuator where the old controller plugged in. So we'll disconnect that because we no longer need it. And we'll plug in the new one. And if we press the buttons on this, it should now work. Right. And now we're completely wireless. In addition, we now have this micro switch. So if we run this, if we run the actuator and I press this micro switch somewhere, this will automatically stop. So let's see if that works. There we go. Now note this only works for the up position, not the down position. And that is because whatever it is you're attaching to this, let's say it's a TV or something, then you'll already adjust the TV on this block so that it's in the down position. It's the up position that you may want to adjust and that's what the micro switch is for. What you would do is simply install this, there's two screw holes in it, and you'll screw this into your bracket or your cabinet or whatever it is you're making to the position you want. So let's say I want the TV to stop here and I'd screw it into place in the cabinet, press the up button and then it automatically stops. And then I don't have to do anything else. If I want it to retract, just press the down button and that's it. This is a spring-loaded micro switch. It's very simple and um, it's as easy as that.